Georgia Democrats. My name is Laver Hello. My name is Laverne Lewis Gaskins, and I was invited to introduce the next Democratic Attorney General of the state of Georgia, Charlie Bailey. I was invited to also tell a little bit about myself. Prior to my current job, and for most of my adult life, I lived in South Georgia. South Georgia. And I'm proud to have served as the attorney for Valdosta State, my alma mater. Yeah. I've been a member of the State Bar of Georgia for 25 years. I've worked in private practice, and I served as a Georgia Special Assistant Attorney General before moving on to education law. As a member of the State Bar of Georgia, I previously served as a member of the Board of Governors and was elected chair of the investigative panel of the State Bar of Georgia. I believe I know a good, ethical, hardworking attorney when I see one, and I'm here to tell you that Charlie Bailey is the best choice for Georgia's Attorney General. Yeah. Let me tell you a little bit about Charlie. Charlie is a true public servant. As a senior district attorney for Fulton County, Charlie served in the gang unit, prosecuting some of the toughest cases of violent crime. And before that, Charlie worked with former Governor Roy Barnes, representing victims of consumer fraud and predatory lending. Charlie has been fighting for everyday Georgians for his entire career. And it's time, it is his time to fight for Georgia as its top attorney. So please join me in welcoming the next Attorney General of Georgia, Charlie Bailey. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, Georgia Democrats. My name is Charlie Bailey, and it's my honor and privilege to be the Democratic nominee for Attorney General in my home state, the great state of Georgia. I'm an eighth generation Georgian. I'm a seventh generation Harris Countyan. If you don't know where Harris County is, it's that little slice of God's country on the western border with Alabama right above Columbus. <laughs> Y'all, I'm running for Attorney General because every day the vast majority of Georgians, they get up, they go to work, if they're lucky, one job. But many of them far, far too many of them, two and three jobs, and they do that to try to provide just a little bit better life just a little bit more opportunity for their kids than they had and they can't quite do it. And they can't quite do it because there's powerful forces arrayed against them. And yes, they come in the form of gangs and organized crime. They come in the form of special interests, pharmaceutical companies, payday lenders, predatory debt collectors, oil companies. those special interests that exploit them, and they come in the form of fat cat politicians that care more about their seat in government and protecting those special interest friends than they do about protecting the people of Georgia. Y'all, more than anyone, more than anyone, the Attorney General is supposed to be the one standing in between those hardworking Georgians and those forces that would do them harm. You're a lawyer. Or you're supposed to be, right? You're supposed to use the law to protect the people. And if they are harmed, you're supposed to use the law to get them justice. Now, my opponent, he's a nice guy. Shocker. I think I'm a pretty nice guy. But unfortunately, that's not a qualification to be attorney general. My opponent, my opponent has never prosecuted a traffic ticket. He's never tried a case. 
He's never argued a motion in front of a judge, and he hadn't practiced law in 17 years. Y'all, if your grandmother, if your niece, if your favorite cousin need an attorney, would you ever, in your right mind, Would you ever, in your right mind, suggest for them or hire for them an attorney that never tried a case and hadn't practiced law in 17 years? So the essential question is, why in the world should the people of Georgia be forced to hire an attorney like that? And while my opponent sits in that seat that he thinks belongs to his political party and he thinks belongs to his special interest buddies, he's about to find out real soon it belongs to the people. And while he sits in that seat and he doesn't have one assistant attorney general working on organized crime or gangs, he doesn't have one assistant attorney general working on human trafficking, while he doesn't have that, he's got us involved in the wrong side of every single national debate that's going on right now. It's Democratic AGs as we sit here right now that are protecting dreamers. It's Democratic AGs that has stopped the printing of plastic 3D guns. It's Democratic AGs that have stepped into the breach where the federal government has fallen down to protect the millions of Americans and over four million Georgians that have a pre-existing condition. And my opponent's on the wrong side of every single one of those debates. When I'm elected Attorney General, not only are we going to create for the first time an organized crime and gang division in the AG's office, not only are we going to create a civil rights division for the first time in the AG's office, I'm going to have us on the right side of every single one of these national debates protecting the people of Georgia and not the special interests. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Y'all, country music singer Willie Watson, you may not know that name, but you, you may know Old Crow Medicine Show. Willie Watson wrote a song, and it's titled, An Entity Sings, We Are All In This Thing Together. And we are. These challenges, they are great, but they are not insurmountable. We will overcome, but we will only do so if we stand together. There are those that build walls, and they profit off of it. Walls that separate us along lines of sex, of sexual orientation, of ethnicity, of urban and rural, of rich, poor, middle class, of Democrat and Republican. What I'd urge you to do is tear down those walls. Tear down those walls. Stand on the rubble. Stand together. And when we stand together as Democrats, when we stand together as Georgians, Georgia will thrive and does thrive. Thank you all. On to November. Let's win this thing.